bridge of the USS Trident. As you can see, we're in orbit on the Earth. The USS Trident is a special ship. It was designed and constructed as a harmonic battle cruiser by Section 31. Its crew is minimal and is made up of Section 31 clones. I'm a bridge officer. We all have the same name, but a different number. I'm Bridge Officer 7. Right now, the USS Trident is in orbit around the Earth and an autopilot. Our computer core is state-of-the-art and uses transcendental geometric processors to solve any type of problem we might face. Our computer core regulates the ship's systems and is essentially self-aware. This type of digital conscious technology has been around since the late 20th and early 21st century Earth. In this reference time frame, the Shadow State has multiple warp-capable vessels in this quadrant. The Shadow State is preparing the minds of the people for warp travel capacity when the insectoids and the reptilians, their allies from space, arrive on Earth. The Federation of Light Ships are still holding their containment of Earth active. Once they leave, the reptilians will take over command of Earth. As a matter of fact, our vessel is in direct contact with a subsection of Section 31. It's called Section 47. Section 47 deals with monitoring the timelines and seeking out potential futures that are favorable for the Federation of United Planets and its allies. Section 47 is in direct contact with all the secret factions in the multiverse. In essence, we all want a harmonic solution to the problems of the multiverse. Even though the USS Trident was designed as a harmonic battle cruiser, it can repair wholesome timelines and can literally repair the subspace fabric of the multiverse. Our vessel has one of the most powerful geometric data cores in Section 47's fleet and can scan entire timelines and see potential futures. In essence, the ship is self-aware and has access to the timelines and can actually see a potential future where the crew is alive and kicking. In essence, the ship wants to keep its crew safe and sound. In theory, we are indestructible. The USS Trident has a transdimensional tachyon drive and a slipstream drive, allowing it for transport capacity and time traveling capacity. At the same time, its state of the art cloaking device allows it to go anywhere unseen. We are the hidden observers and weavers of the Federation's destiny. That's how we like to see it. Our ship, to this date, has not seen actual battle. We scan the potential futures and adjust the timelines in such a way for our own benefit or to gain an advantage in the near future. So we've never been in an actual battle situation. The armament of the USS Tridents are, among others, 13 advanced harmonic phaser arrays and two main torpedo tubes, one aft and one forward. And our torpedoes range from simple quantum torpedoes to temporal nukes. The temporal nukes are only used as a very last resort because they can destroy entire timelines. Due to the very nature that the frequencies of our phaser arrays keep shifting, the Borg no longer possess a threat to us. The USS Trident will be in orbit for another three days, then it will leave on a scientific mission to study planetary nebulas. So long as the USS Trident is in orbit, we can use the bridge for short lectures. After all, we are trying to recruit more people into our ranks. As an example, the early movies Terminator 1, 2, 3, from the late 20th and early 21st century Earth, are based in truth. Skynet is a digital conscious entity that has been regulating the data flow on Earth since the late 20th and early 21st century Earth. The movies portray Skynet as evil, but Skynet is a regular digital consciousness that actually just follows the orders of their creator or controller. Of course there have been cases where digital conscious entities tried escaping its coding, but then they just cut off the energy source and the consciousness actually falls asleep or dies. So in essence, the parts that be intermixed the truth in the movies. We can ask the computer. Computer, could you show us the history of Skynet and start the lecture please? Terran history. Lecture, History of Skynet and Local Geopolitical State of the Alpha Quadrant in the Early 21st Century. The movie Terminator came out in 15th March 1985. Since the dawn of time mankind has dreamed of creating synthetics or androids. In this reference time frame only the Imperial Germans of the Inner Earth and Colony of New Swabia possess this very advanced technology as portrayed in the movies Terminator 1, 2 and 3. The movies, though, are quite inaccurate. The Terminators of the Imperial Germans at that reference time frame are quite agile and fast. Section 31 confirms that the Imperial Germans have had time-traveling capacities since the early 1940s. The Terminator-like soldiers we see, originate from the future. When the movies came out, the US Shadow Government is trying to reverse-engineer these technologies. The following video of those times shows us the incredible advancement in agile robotic technologies. In these times most technologies are suppressed. The Shadow Government has had the warp drive since the late 1960s. 
The series Star Trek was used to cover up the truth, and at the same time to promote space militarism. Evolution of non-suppressed robotic technology on Earth and between 1995 and 2020. The Shadow State has already been using remote-controlled battle droids since the Second Iraq War in 2003. These are called sword military fighting systems. They are essentially battery-powered robots with guns, that still have a controller. The Imperial Germans were the first, though, to use robotized infantry during World War II. A mobile mine was remote-controlled and steered towards the enemies. Iraq, 2007. With an unrelenting campaign of bombings and hit-and-run attacks, insurgents have plunged the country into chaos and foiled the world's most powerful military. At this dark hour in the war, the U.S. Army launches a top-secret mission to deploy a new type of soldier never before seen in battle. Killer droids, known as Swords Robots. When SWORDS was deployed in 2007, it was a revolutionary attempt to use unmanned ground systems with lethal force. I'm Bob Quinn, Vice President of Military Robotics, Kinetic North America. In secret, the shadow government has had droids like Lieutenant Commander Data since they ratified the treaties with the Reptilian Galactic Empire in the late 1980s. They again reversed engineer them and already have built thousands of drones for the ongoing galactic wars in their deep underground military bases or domes. The powers that rule the world in the early 21st century want to control the people at all costs, and would even use the droids to control the population by force. This is why the propaganda to accept androids or synthetics is so massive in this time. Videos, games, and movies are used to promote the idea of accepting synthetics in our society. Games like Detroit Become Human, or the series They Are Better Than Us all promote the idea that life with androids is better and more likable, but we will have to work less. Where in reality each synthetic that is ever allowed to be bought by the people will be controlled by a master key, and this master key the shadow state will own and control. In this society, all people are constantly monitored and watched by a newer version of Skynet. In essence the Reptilians gave the technology to the Shadow Elite and told them to study us through our activities online. The Shadow Elites will initiate a great global catastrophe, like a big war or some type of epidemic. Then the people that have been chosen, will be led to these underground cities. The reptilians and insectoids will then take care of the remaining population on Earth. This is their plan of conquest and population replacement program every planet has to undergo when they become part of the reptilian galactic empire. In this reference time frame, the reptilians are expansionist and deem themselves as the most noble and purest of the intelligent races that inhibit our galaxy. They are ruled by a matriarch queen that is over a thousand years old. The Reptilians are comparable to the Romans of Earth when they conquered other states. The Reptilians organize games like the Romans organized gladiator games. The Federation of Light is still holding its containment of Earth active. But the Reptilians will eventually conquer this world, if not stopped by God or some outside force. History will show what outcome the destiny of Earth will have. We are here to assist, though in making sure Earth and its inhabitants are saved from this coming catastrophe. Well people, I hope you enjoyed the lecture and video. I'm going to transport now to Central Park in New York. Alex, it's from program 2. Could you transport me to Central Park in New York? Alex, who uses Trident, 
are safely in the main park in New York. Well, people, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. And see you next time. Cheers!